Welcome to another theory video. This is on CSEC IT. So I hope you learned something in the process. Let's go. The different words that you would use to describe that particular computer, right? So every computer must have a processor because we figured it out already with the diagram. Remember the diagram, the input, process, output, and storage, right? Each one of these has different devices that would be used to get the job done and you need to be able to know to measure them. So let's start with P processor. The processor speed is measured in something called megahertz. Now, if you do physics, you kind of know what a hertz is. It's Z. Hertz is like the frequency of how something um, happens per second, right? So if I check every single second, that would be like one time per second if i t if i check 10 times per second or 100 times per second it'll be a thousand times per second so it's kind of like hertz right something along those lines when you when you say a processor has a particular amount of speed you usually measure it in megahertz or gigahertz most processors will be uh um uh 1.5 megahertz 2.0 megahertz 3.0 megahertz those, di those different things that just says how much things the processor could do every second how fast it could process stuff or things could go through it and it will be able to understand it your megahertz could be a lot faster for certain things depending on the type of processor you have if you're very if you're a slow processing person you need to tell people slow down say it to me again but then there's some people that process really quickly and they just have to say it once and they will be able to um, do whatever the instruction is, right? Because remember, the processor only runs instructions. So the megahertz, this kind of tells the ALU and the CU how fast they could work together to get things done. The RAM size, which is the size of the first storage space that happens. So the processor will have um, be very close to RAM. And the RAM size will be measured in gigabytes, GB. So you might have 2 gigabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of RAM, different things like that. And then it could have a different type. It could be DDR RAM, DDR, or it could be SD RAM. Depending on the example I'm doing, you might see DDR, you might see SD. But you will know because it always comes before the word RAM, which I'll give you some examples just now hard disk or hard drive right you might see hard disk or you might see hard drive or you might see hdd anything like that has two major components to it the size and the speed a hard drive the size is measuring gigabytes just like ram but the gigabytes of a hard drive is usually a lot a lot a lot bigger than the size of ram because remember ram is temporary a hard drive is permanent. Permanent storage means you need to have a lot more space to store. Think of temporary storage, remember, as your brain. And think of the hard drive or permanent storage as like the library. The library will have a lot of books all stored on big, um, like in paper. Whereas your brain will only have things stored in um, virtual space, right? So a hard drive is measured in gigabytes and it'll have... Um, three things. It could have a size, it could have a type, and it will have a speed. Speed is usually measured in RPM. RPM stands for revolutions per minute. Revolutions per minute basically means that when, remember the video that we looked at where the hard drive actually spins, 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 spins right. How much times it spins per minute will determine how fast the data could be accessed or how fast you could retrieve anything that you tell the hard drive to look for. So if you have a hard drive that spins at 5400 um, revolutions per minute, that means it'll spin really fast. Sometimes you might get a hard drive that goes at 7200 RPM. And then after that, well, it'll probably be industrial hard drives because when you spin too much, it'll create friction and it'll cause um, it will cause um, heat. Too much heat means destruction <laughs> and inside of that now you might have a hard drive that's called a ssd which is stands for solid state drive 
Solid state drive means that it doesn't have any spinning parts or moving parts and it will be able to maybe measure in gigabytes. The type will be SSD and it won't have any RPM because it doesn't spin at all. A monitor is measured in inches and resolution. So it will tell you you have a 19 inch monitor and the resolution is 1024 by 768 pixels. The more pixels you have, the more higher the resolution. Remember, we did that, right? So let's go on. Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So, um, thank you very much and look out for the next video that is here or here because I have all the theory videos for all the subjects.